Let's talk about Amanda Weiss, a name that might not be immediately familiar, but one that has been indelibly etched into the annals of cult cinema. If you've ever found yourself glued to the screen during an 80s movie marathon, chances are you've seen Weiss. And if you haven't, well, you're in for a treat. With a career that's spanned over four decades, she's been everything from a high school sweetheart to a nightmare victim, all while maintaining an air of charm that's as recognizable as her iconic 80s hairstyles. Weiss started her journey in the early 80s, a time when big hair and bigger shoulder pads ruled the world. Her breakout role came in Fast Times at Ridgemont High, 1982, where she played Lisa, a high school student who witnessed the teenage shenanigans of Judge Reinhold, Sean Penn, and Phoebe Cates. Now, let's pause for a moment to appreciate the fact that this film was a smorgasbord of up-and-coming talent. It was like an awkward yearbook photo of future Hollywood royalty, and there was Amanda Weiss, holding her own like a pro. But it wasn't just high school comedies that would cement Weiss's status as a cult icon. In 1984, she took a sharp turn into the horror genre with Wes Craven's A Nightmare on Elm Street. Yes, dear readers, Amanda Weiss was the first person to be slain by Freddy Krueger, marking her place in horror history. Her role as Tina Gray may have ended tragically and gruesomely, but her performance made sure that nobody ever forgot that terrifying encounter with the man in the striped sweater. It's like she was the sacrificial lamb that paved the way for decades of sleep-deprived horror fans. But Weiss wasn't done with her tour of 80s classics. She followed up her scream Queen Duties with a role in Better Off Dead, 1985, where she played Beth, the girlfriend who dumps John Cusack's character, sending him into a spiral of comic despair. If breaking the heart of John Cusack doesn't make you a certified 80s icon, I don't know what does. But Amanda Weiss made it look effortless, as if she was the muse of teenage heartbreak itself. Now, while her film roles were enough to secure her a place in the 80s Hall of Fame, Weiss also dipped her toes into the world of television, starring in episodes of Cheers and Saint Elsewhere. However, it was her role as Randy McFarland, the investigative reporter in Highlander, the series 1992 to 1993, that showcased her ability to bring depth and charisma to any role, no matter the screen size. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and join the crew by subbing and clicking the bell. She had a knack for making you care about her characters. Whether she was dodging sword-wielding immortals or navigating the social pitfalls of a Boston bar. Amanda Weiss's career is a delightful mix of genres and roles, each one leaving a lasting impression. She's the kind of actress who has quietly influenced the landscape of cult cinema, leaving her mark in unexpected places. From horror to comedy, from the big screen to the small, Weiss has done it all with a wink and a smile even when Freddy Krueger was lurking in the shadows. So the next time you find yourself craving a dose of 80s nostalgia, hop in a classic and keep an eye out for Amanda Weiss. She might not always be in the spotlight, but she's always there, making every scene just a little bit better and a lot more memorable. Who's your daddy?